alone in the middle of the night We shine brighter than a diamond We were strangers at the start now Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to uh, do a little continuation of our uh, bot to create YouTube shorts. So um, in the first video, which I'll put up on the screen now, uh, we covered this code right here, which is going to go online, take some screenshots, put some text-to-speech over it, and make a little YouTube short video for us. Um, today, we're going to look into a little bit of the Google API. Now, quick disclaimer, I didn't write any of this code here. Um, this is straight from uh, Google, Google's cloud platforms and stuff. They have a lot of coding examples. They have some really good resources on there. Um, but what we're going to need to do um, to get access to this is head on over, search up, go ahead and search up Google Developers, um, and you'll come to this page here. If you go down to the bottom, you can go to this Google API console, and you're going to need to um, activate your account on here. And then you can see right here, I have a project, which um, this is my uh, link to this code right here via this client secrets.json. Um, which you can download once you create a project and go into it, you can download that from here. Uh, I'm not going to go into that too much in depth because I don't want to show uh, my client secrets, obviously. That's uh, something that needs to stay private for this code to be working and safe. Um, but we will just talk through this a little bit. So you can pull this code straight from their, their website in their coding examples. Um, and you'll have to go into, um, you can change description uh, and the title and all this stuff. Now, something that's um, important here to note is that when you have an app on Google API in development, so we're using this to upload videos to YouTube. This is their code example to do that. Um, you see this status, privacy status is private. Um, it will not let you upload public uh, while your app is in development. So you have to get it published, which requires some review and stuff like that as well um, before you can actually post this straight to um, public. So what I'm going to do today is just run this code. I'll show you some of the kind of issues with um, it being in development that limit us a little bit in our ability to actually do this. But what we will end up with is a YouTube short um, uploaded privately and then we can go in and change that to public manually. Um, so I'll go ahead and we'll run this code now just to quick, do a quick demonstration of it. Uh, Python 3 Google API. So we run this, it's going to go ahead and log in and then see this is another thing that happens in the development phase when we're trying to do this upload. This is also um, a an attempt on their part I guess to stop um, you know mass uploading and botting and stuff like that. So we have to go here to that link, go in under our account and yep see it's currently hasn't verified this app. This is a uh, still in development, so we can continue, continue, and then we get this authorization code here. Now, it doesn't matter that I'm showing this because um, this changes every time you run it, which also presents a little bit of an issue because I can't fully uh, automate this because I have to enter that authorization code every time and it changes every time. So there we can see it go goes ahead and um, uploads the video, it gives us this uh, this return. You can see I didn't change any of these. So it's gonna, our title is going to be test video upload, our description is going to be just the text right there, but we can go now over to uh, our YouTube uh, channel, manage, and we should be able to see here now a, once it loads, we'll see a new, uh, there we go, test video upload. So if we click on this, we can look at that. Um, we can go in here and change all this stuff if we want to. We can also make it so that it uploads with the correct you know, title and description that we want. Uh, we can change the thumbnail for it, and then eventually we can share this or save, change this to public. So I think for now what I'm probably going to use this for is um, just doing that, making some automated videos of the top moving stocks of the day. Eventually you can see here, this is for a future video, I want to um, try to make some of those Reddit style ones where there's a moving video in the background and then some text overlay and text to speech and all that. Um, I think that'll be a really fun project to work on. Uh, but for now, this is what we've got. This uh, this code right here that I wrote myself to make that video, I'm going to put that in my GitHub, uh, make that available for all of you guys. If you want to create your own videos, all you need to do is, you know, you can change uh, the text that's being overlaid. You can change um, where these images are coming from. If you want to put in your own images or screenshot other stuff from the web, um, you can just go through and change some little things in here to make your own 
uh, automated videos and then make your developer account, get this code off their website and uh, you'll be good to go to kind of upload these little, you know, YouTube shorts. You can even make longer videos if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's what we're working with right now. Um, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, the code will be uh, available on my GitHub as soon as this video is posted. So keep an eye out for that. And with all that said, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.